I really just do my makeup and my hair and put on a nice shirt for this video. Absolutely, yes I did. Hello everyone, happy Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whenever I decide to post this. Um, hey, what's up? How are you guys doing? The video you're about to watch took me a very long time to put together, and by long time, I mean putting it off to edit until my room got so messy to the point where it was as messy as it was before I redid my room. No, I'm just kidding. In all seriousness though, the real reason why this video has taken so long for me to put together is because I've been very busy with school. Let's talk about my room. I completely cleaned out my bedroom a while ago and then I redid it and moved the furniture around, painted the walls, got rid of a lot of things and I've tried to adopt more of like a minimalistic look for my room. I like to think that I have turned my bedroom into a bit of a sanctuary. So with that unnecessary explanation out of the way, let's just get straight into the video. So the first part about my room makeover was painting the walls. My room had been the same lavender color with a periwinkle accent wall for the longest time ever. And I remember when I first painted my room, I felt so cool for having that periwinkle accent wall. I thought it was so different and unique. But by having that periwinkle accent wall, it really made my room feel a lot smaller than it actually was. So my whole goal with repainting my room was that I wanted to make it a lighter and brighter color to make my room feel more open and bigger. So the paint color that I ended up choosing for my room was this white color with like the slightest purple hue to it. I'm deep cleaning and getting ready to paint my room. I have officially taken like everything out of my room and then I've moved all of the furniture towards the center of the room and now I'm gonna get ready to paint my room. So we're gonna get started with that. That's it. That's the entire montage. I didn't get any other footage of me painting my room, and honestly, I'm not surprised either. I've noticed after editing a few videos that filming Laura just leaves a complete mess for editing Laura to clean up, and sometimes things just don't add up. With that out of the way, let's just get back to our regularly scheduled program. So the next thing that I did was I moved the furniture around. I have three main pieces of furniture in my bedroom, my bed, my dresser, and my desk. My original plan was to have each of the three main pieces pieces of furniture be on a separate wall. I don't know why, I thought that would maximize the space or like make my room feel larger. So when I finished painting my room, I spent like 20 minutes or so moving the furniture around in my room. And so I put my bed against the wall that I wanted to have it. I put my dresser on the wall where my bed originally was. And then I put my desk on the wall that's next to my closet. And when I first saw how that looked, it looked really awkward and just like out of place. And I was scared that I wouldn't have enough room on the wall where I put my dresser to fit my desk in there, but like it actually like just fits in perfectly. When I first rearranged my room like that, I felt a little off about it, but now that I've been like living in this space for a while, I really like it because it leaves the center of the room very open and it makes my room look and feel a lot bigger. Hey guys, I have officially put some sheets on my bed. I was able to sleep on my bed last night and my room still looks pretty empty, but I put a plant in here. Um, I really like the way it looks and overall it feels very spacious because there's just not a lot of stuff in here and I love it so much. There's like a huge mess outside of my room just filled with stuff. I'm gonna try to move everything that's outside back into my room and organize all of like the open spaces I feel like there's a bit of an echo, like, echo, echo, echo. Hey, I like the color of your shirt. We should hang out sometime. Cool, I guess.
it's been a while. My room has basically just stayed the same for like maybe the past week or so. And I have got something for a new thing I wanna add into my room. And I've wanted to add this in my room for the longest time ever. And I think it would look perfect with my day bed. I want to add a canopy in my room. So I've been flirting with the idea of getting a canopy for the longest time, but then I kind of forgot about it. And then I started to watch Avatar The Last Airbender, and now, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, okay? There is a song that I'll always play at the end of episodes that's like super calming and relaxing. It's this song for anyone who's actually seen the show. Well, yes, so I want to emulate those vibes in my bedroom and turn my bedroom, especially just my bed, into a little sanctuary. We just want the calm vibes here. So the one thing I got for my canopy is this. This is what I got. Isn't this like the perfect fabric to make a dress? Ooh. Wow, I can see it already. But I got this tool. I bought 10 yards of this because Tool is very, very sheer. So what I'm gonna try to do is just like take all of this and like try mapping it out, seeing how it looks. I'm surprised it wasn't as expensive as I thought it was gonna be. I think I spent like maybe $15 on all of this. Let's unravel this beast and see what we can do with it. Ooh. Wow, this is a lot of tool. My mentality with getting this was like, I'd rather get too much than not enough. Whew. We interrupt this special program with yet another edition of Laura wasting time and procrastinating. Honestly though, like, I can see why Ariana Grande chose to have a tool ball gown for her 2020 Grammys look, because I do feel like a bit of a princess with all of this tool. Oh wait, wait a minute. Something like this? Y'all, I think I'm coming up with something fantastic. Literally, like, Oh, oh my god, okay, almost slipped. Yikes. That's embarrassing. But like, wow. What a power move. Fashion icon. I actually have to get serious with this. <laughs> everyone, it's voiceover Laura here and I'm just gonna explain how I put together this canopy. So the first thing I did was basically just drape it over my bed and I tried to figure out ways to like attach the tool onto the ceiling. Oh, and please ignore my psychopath dance moves. So I first tried like thumbtacks, which didn't work. Then I tried sticking the tool onto the ceiling with tape, but that also didn't work. So I decided to use these Velcro command strips. So I cut the strips into smaller pieces and then I marked spots on my ceiling lightly with pencil about the same width of the piece of tool. Those little spots were gonna be where I would place the command strips and then I attached those command strips to the piece of tool and then I attached a command strip to the ceiling and I did that for three sections of the canopy. So two sections were at the edge of my bed and then one section was in the middle so that the draping would make like a W shape. So then I realized I had a lot of excess tool left and it wouldn't be enough to drape around a second time. So I cut that off of the final canopy and then I messily attached the excess tool to the top part of the canopy to add more dimension to the top of the canopy. And that's basically how I made this canopy. Hi, it's been a minute but I got the final product for my new room. I bought some color changing fairy lights because I have like normal plain white ones, but I just thought to really channel those inner Atla vibes, we needed some color changing fairy lights. Let's just put the finishing touch on the canopy and get these fairy lights on.
Okay, so voiceover Lara is back at it again to explain how I attached the fairy lights onto the canopy. So basically what I did was I just draped the fairy lights in like a zigzag pattern on my ceiling and attached them at the main points of my canopy where like the line where the command strips were. So I attached the fairy lights onto my ceiling with tape and I just strung those back and forth between my canopy until I ran out of fairy lights and that's basically it. Okay, so now is the moment of truth to test to see if all of that struggle was worth it. I shall turn off the light. You cannot see me now, but these are the white lights and now I shall turn on the colorful lights. So like maybe blue? Oh my god, like literally it does not show on camera. That's really cool. Okay, wait, let's do purple. Oh my god, stop. Green, back to blue. Oh, you know what's kind of weird? This remote kind of interferes with this remote. Um, that's gonna take some getting used to, but that's okay. Yo, avatar vibes. These are some calming avatar vibes. I approve. And it does, the camera doesn't do it justice, but okay. So here is the final product of what my room looks like. That was my video about redoing my bedroom. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Like if you give it a big thumbs up, that would literally make my day. And if you like my personality or if you just like my face, then please hit that big red subscribe button down below for more content like this. And I think that's it. I hope you all stay safe happy and healthy and i will see you in the next video bye